It works well, except for a couple of minor issues. If you want to hear what they are, then let's talk. So in hopes of replacing my laptop with the iPad, I definitely needed support from the Microsoft Office 365 uh, applications, mainly Word and PowerPoint. Those two ones I, I use very, very often. So today I want to share with you guys how well they work on the iPad. They do work very well. Um, it's going to remind you a lot of the PC counterparts. But one major difference between the iOS version and the iPad OS version is that the iPad OS version is not free. You do need a full subscription, a monthly payment subscription to be able to edit documents and to be able to uh, save documents. So that's that's a major, major difference. The apps available on the iPad OS are Word, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, Outlook for email, OneDrive, and OneNote. So those are, those are the ones that you can download from the app, app Store. Without further ado, let's get into it and let me show you guys how they work. Starting with Word, uh, which I think is the most used uh, application from the Office 365, um, you can definitely see the famili familiarity between this application and the PC counterpart. So you have access to your recent files. These are some of the files I was working on today earlier. Um, some of the shared files, something. These are, these are the ones that were sent to your email address. So you can see all of them are piled up here. Um, it's impressive because this goes all the way back to like my first or second year of university. So these are all still, I still have access to all of these. Um, you, you can open a, a file from OneDrive and your iPad and the files app. So that's that's very nice that you have all these options. So for example, if I have something in the files, I can go to my, not iCloud, I can go to my, um, on my iPad and then here are all my files. So downloads, here's a Word document, here's another one. So I can just go ahead and open these. So for example, if I click this, it'll take a couple of seconds. There we go. So. This here is my resume, actually. Good thing I did work on this today because I noticed some things that are missing from the application, and that's mostly to do with the trackpad. So let's go ahead and get out of this and go to new and go to a blank document. So as you can see, the keyboard is fully supported. Hello, this is a test from the iPad Pro. So the keyboard works perfectly fine but the trackpad definitely needs an update. This is an issue on Microsoft side, like the trackpad is fully supported in the iPad OS system. Microsoft just needs to update their app. So as you can see, when I double click, it selects the word like I would if I was touching the screen. So, but when I move this around, see it's working now, but if I wanna grab this top one, I, I just can't, it grabs the word, right? See, now I just moved it there. I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to grab this corner and I can't. So this is actually much easier if you just touch it. As you can see, now I'm touching it with my hands and I can move it around. So definitely needs, something needs to be done about that, but the copy and, um, and paste, they work, they work just fine like that. And there is nothing that it's missing, nothing important anyway. Uh, it does have table support, so you can have your table, uh, you can make it bigger, so you have style options. Um, you can insert more rows, so insert above, there we go, insert below, insert left, insert right. So as you can see, you have the you have the full functionality of the Word uh, Office 365 Word application on PC. So that's good. So let's go back here. We can delete the draft. Uh, you do have uh, access to templates, all the templates here, which is nice. Moving on to PowerPoint. So I had the slide open from earlier. Let's delete this draft. Uh, just like Word, you do have uh, access to a bunch of templates and your recent work you're shared. So these are some of the things that were shared with me. Uh, they were either sent to my email address or they were shared with me directly from like my university years. Uh, you can also open just like Word documents from your iPad, files application, um, and OneDrive, of course. So that's awesome. So let's go into new. Uh, the PowerPoint application is actually very nice as well. So hello, this is a test. And then you double tap here, test. There we go. So it works. It works. It works just as you you would think. Uh, you click right here to add a new slide. You just you just tap it. And you can create more slides. Uh, you can choose layouts. You can you can draw with the Apple Pencil. Uh, you can add transition. Pretty much everything that you would see on a PC version is supported here. One thing that it's not is the I believe it was called Format Master, where you're able to uh, export the power point presentation in different formats. Um, here you only have the, like if we go to save here, 
Uh, you can just name the presentation and click Save. So as you can see, this was saved as a uh, PPTX file, I think it's called. So I don't have an option to you know, choose what I want to like what format I want to export in. So moving on to Excel, uh, Excel works pretty well as well. You have the access to the same thing. So recent, shared and open. Um, let's go into new. You do have templates just like the other, other two applications. Let's go into a blank document here. So one, and then you click enter to go to the bottom. So two, three, four, five, six. And then let's go up here and go three, six, three, eight, one and nine. So if you want to select multiple uh, rows, so you hold shift and then you go with the arrow keys, which is nice. And if you want to move this, you can also select like that. And you can also move, let's say I want to move this three, you can just move it like that. So that's awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and move this back. You do have options to uh, tables as well here. And you can also choose recommended to be able to do a chart based on the numbers or based on your data. So if I click chart here, it's going to automatically generate a, a chart for these data points given. And you can, you know, change the type, uh, column, pie, box. As far as the formulas go, uh, this is a difference I noticed with the PC counterpart. The way they have it set up here is very, very easy to use. So you have like your sum average count numbers. Um, so all these financial different formulas, logical formulas, text formulas, all this. And if you actually click a formula, like the information bar here, you get like DDB cost salvage life period. So you get what they, what they are, which is awesome. This is very, very simple to use actually. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this and move on to Outlook. Honestly, I love Outlook. It's the, it's the one that I use on my phone uh, every single day. I don't use any other email apps. Some of the features that I love about it is that you, it, it automatically sends your spam email into another folder and you don't even get notifications on those emails. Uh, so the only way to see them is actually going into the app and checking what you have received so far. It doesn't have scheduled email, so you can't send out an email at a scheduled time like Gmail could, and you can't undo uh, send. So the way Gmail works is that if you send an email, you have five seconds to cancel that. Uh, it doesn't have that feature. But overall, I just like the UI. I like it the way it works. I like how fast the notifications are sent in. So it's definitely my favorite app. And then OneNote is an application I want to start using more often. Uh, I know there are tons and tons of uh, note-taking applications for the iPad. Um, this does support the Apple Pencil, but so do the other ones. What I like about this is the, is the way that Microsoft did notebook section and page. So for example, I have a notebook here that says school. And, I, and then I can add a section that says, for example, a class name. So let's say psychology 295. And then that class will be a section and then I can add different pages. So these pages could be, for example, um, let's put a title here, uh, like Wednesday lecture. Oops. And then I can add another page. Once it's Thursday, I can do Thursday lecture. Now I can have day by day of this particular class. And then let's say I want to do notes for another class like PS 296. I can add that as a section. And then now I have access to different pages for that section. And then if something that's unrelated to school, you can add another notebook. So let's say I want to do stuff that's considered like that's uh, different than a school. So it's something to do with YouTube. I'll go YouTube. I'll go create. It'll create a notebook. It does, like I said, also support the uh, Apple Pencil. So if you want to get to drawing, you definitely could do that. Overall, my thoughts on the Office 365 on the iPad, it's definitely doable. Uh, if it's your only laptop and you're a student, you can definitely get by with it using the Word and PowerPoint applications. Or if you're a finance student, you need Excel as well. It's definitely doable. A couple of minor issues. As I said, the PowerPoint doesn't allow you to export in any kind of format that you want as the PC would. And the other issue is that the trackpad this definitely needs an update on the application because the way it works is not very good. Uh, you're, you're better off actually using your fingers and touching, touching around than, than to use the trackpad to go around the application. So that definitely needs an update, uh, but the keyboard works perfectly fine. It works exactly how it would on a laptop or a PC, so that's good. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. 
uh, I am going to get my work done here. Today I was just editing my resume on here instead of using my PC, so that's a good sign. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, if you wanna see other videos on the iPad or any questions about the iPad, please, please leave them below so I can actually answer your questions and make videos um, related to your questions. So thank you for the support, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.